with Kelly. I just found the cutest card online and I just have to share it with you and we have to make it. It's, it's so cute. So um, I made it in a five by seven. No, sorry. I made it in a five by five. You can make it in any size that you want. Just adapt each piece to the size. So look at this card. So this is one that I made and it's got a little picture frame. And then on the inside, it's like this. I just think this style of card is so cute. So again, this is the five by five. You can make it six by six. You can make it um, five by seven, whatever, whatever size that you care to make it and just adapt each piece in the measurements so let me face you down here I'll give you all the measurements for the five by five and we'll get making all right so the first piece that you need is a 10 by five. Along the 10 inch, you're going to score at five and you're going to fold. Let me get that fold a little nicer. And burnish your score line. We need this for one more thing. Then you need a piece of five and a half by five and a half. There we go. You're going to score at a quarter of an inch. and a half an inch on all four sides. Okay, so you've got your score lines on all four sides. Then you will need a piece of five by five pattern. You actually need two pieces of five by five pattern. And then this piece is four and a half by four and a half, and we're gonna die cut a square out of this one. I'll show you that in just a minute. And you need a piece of four and a half by four and a half of white. And then I have some embellishments here that we'll, I'll show you when we're starting to embellish. Okay, so that's it for that. Let me bring my die cut machine up here. And let me see which dies. Um, Okay, 
so I've got two squares. Let me see what size these are. So my first square is hmm, approximately just under uh, a three and three quarters square. And the larger one is four and a half square. Okay, so I can't see what I'm doing here because I am on the piece of five and a half by five and a half that you've scored at a quarter and a half, you're gonna center. See what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Okay. You're going to center your square. And of course, I dropped my ruler. I'm just going to double check that I'm somewhat square. And I'm just going to take a piece of washi tape Just tack it down so it doesn't move. And of course, I lost the end. <laughs> there we go. set this between our plates and that's your frame No need to waste this. It'll come in handy for another project. All right. Now, I don't, yes, I think I'm just, I'm not going to use the larger die. I think I'm just going to cut this out the exact same. Yep. So, I guess I could have just glued that together and cut it out at the same time. Well then, why didn't I do that? <laughs> So you know, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to tape. I'm going to tape this piece and recut that. And that way, because I was going to do a frame, but I'm just going to, I was going to do a partial frame. I'm going to do a full frame.
I'll show you what I mean. So on this card, I did a full frame of the brickwork. So it covered the whole front of the white cardstock. Then I did a smaller frame on top of that. So you can still see the brickwork. So I was going to do this floral um, frame. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just do the bottom frame. So that's where I changed my mind. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Brody, here's somebody outside. <coughs> yes, Mr. Brody, we hear you. He's a little bit pouty today because daddy went to the office. All right. So we're going to... I'm gonna do that. So I just taped it. Now I'm going to put this die back in the square. go. So that's how I decided I wanted it. So I think at least for now we're done with this. So I'm going to put this down. Tape paper for this for the window. I get my acetate sheets from Amazon. Let's see if this is wide enough. Yep. Before we get at that, we are going to fold and burnish all of these score lines that you made on your frame. This was the cutest little card. I 
I think it would be cute doing this um, as a storefront and maybe doing the theme like how much is the doggy in the window and do it like a, a pet store. I thought that was a cute idea. All right, so we've got all those burnished. To make your, you know what? I said I was gonna do this right after, let's do this. I am going to use my red tape on my acetate. nice thing about this red tape is let me see if I if it'll show you can see that there's bubbles between the acetate and the red strip if you rub those out you know that that red tape is stuck to your acetate that off. You want me to hold your chair so you can get out? There you go. Brody wanted to come up and sit at the table. You see what mama's making? Yeah. There we go. this in here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to move you a bit closer. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. You've got these four little squares on each side. You're going to cut down So you got two strips like this. Then this first one you're going to cut completely off. And the second one you're only going to cut one off. This is your little tab to make your box, your box frame. Then I'm going to get my fingers out of the way. I'm going to make a little tiny wedge on each side just so that it takes some of the bulk away. Okay, let me turn it around and do that again. So I'm going to cut up here and this one. I'm going to take two squares off of this first one 
one square off of this one. Make your little wedge. You see that little tab right there. Okay. I'm gonna do that on the other two sides as well. All right, so you have all these little tabs. Now, let's push that off to the side for now. We're gonna make your box. Just gonna put a little dab of glue on those little tabs. This just takes a minute for the glue to grab. Brody curled up in his chair and went to sleep. He does so much sulking when daddy goes to the office. Because most of his life, daddy's been working from home for the most part. He's only two. And so, um, he wasn't even a year old when daddy had his first back surgery and had to stay home. And then when he was able to go back to work, that's when COVID hit. And so daddy hasn't been able to go back to work full time for well, year and a half. So. Okay, so now the next step is I'm going to finish making my frame by gluing these tabs down.
You know, I keep finding these new ideas for cards. And I keep saying, well, maybe this is my next favorite. Maybe this is my next favorite. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not made to have a favorite. <laughs> Now this is definitely not a card that you'd want to put in the mail because unless you were putting it in a box of stuff but it would get squished in just an envelope. Alright, so there is our frame. I'm going to set that to the side. We are going to build our card now. double-sided tape here Upright. There we go. And then on the inside, I have so many six by six cards. No, not cards. Six by six card stock. <laughs> and I'm so used to using my 12 by 12s, I thought, I gotta make a card where I only allow myself to use my six by six. So that's what I did. I just thought the a map would be a neat background. I haven't picked out a sentiment for the inside of the card yet because I'm not sure who I'm giving it to or anything, but... There you go. So you can make you can do whatever sentiment you want in there. Just gonna burnish this again. Make sure it stands up. There we go. All right, let's decorate the front. Look at this. So I'm just gonna put glue around my frame here.
try and center it the best I can. All right, and we're just gonna hold it down until it adheres. And you can make a picture inside your frame if you want. I am just thought it was a neat background and I'll decorate on the outside. There we go. All right. So let's see what we've got. So I could put maybe do that there and then that there. We can figure out some more details afterwards. All right, I am going to use my red tape again and glue or tape these to this. Um, the only reason I'm using my red tape is because for most of this, it's um, going to be on the acetate. I am going to um, use a 3D tape on the little card there that, for car trip. Um, hopefully, it'll stick okay to the to the acetate. get all the bubbles out of the red tape. I suppose this could make a nice Father's Day card. Which, of course, <laughs> Father's Day just passed by the time that you see this video. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to be able to go on a road trip? I know many of you in the States are able to do that already, but we're not, unfortunately. Let's do that. There we go. And then I'm going to get rid of all this trash. All right. I'm going to get this double sided tape out here. Not double. I meant 3D double-sided.
Oh, this is pretty sticky. I'm sure it'll work. <laughs> There we go. All right. So there is our frame card. And there's the first one that I made as a sample. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on this card. Again, my link to my Facebook is in the description box. If you make one of my cards that I've showed you, please send me a picture so I can see your version. I'd love to see them. And our P.O. box is in the description. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to send us a card or a letter, I'll send you a homemade card back. Hope to see you again. Have a good day. Yesterday.